Am I the only one who loves getting packages? Let's see what's inside. I'm just kidding, I know what's inside. So I picked up Canon 10 to 18 mil 4.5 to 5.6 lens to add to my kit. I'll tell you why in a minute. Ah, there it is. Some fresh glass. So you might be saying, Thomas, why did you get this lens? I mean, don't you already have a lens? You're filming on one right now. Well, the lens I have right now goes at its widest focal length to 18 mil. Now, that's not bad, and on a full frame camera, that would be probably plenty. But my camera has an APS-C sensor, which means the image is actually cropped from the original focal length on the lens. That means an 18 mil ends up being more like a 28 or 29 mil, which for vlogging and other things like that is not wide enough. This, however, goes all the way to 10 mil, which even if you bring in that crop, you still have 16 mil, which is plenty wide. And now we're filming on the 10 to 18. Now I'm zoomed to 18 mil right now, but let me show you what 10 mil looks like. And there you go. Now we have a nice wide shot, lots of space. If I readjust my angle a little bit, now I can have a nice wide shot. Now this lens is by no means made for low light situations. So let's get out of this dark room and take a look outside. So this lens is actually also image stabilized, which I can already tell makes a big difference and it's gonna be a really great vlog lens. Hey guys, so before we get to the next part, I just wanted to point out that my, when I was walking, I wasn't really paying attention to how much my hand was kind of bouncing up and down. So there still is a little bit of shake that the image stabilization couldn't take out. Uh, that's my fault. And also, you can kind of hear the tripod mount bouncing um, because my mic levels weren't set right. So my apologies for that. But back to the video. So you might be thinking, well... Why exactly do you need a vlog lens? I mean, isn't this like a woodworking channel? Aren't you mostly in the shop? Well, yes, a lot of my videos are in the shop, which this will actually come in handy for those as well. But my channel is more than just woodworking. At least I want it to be. Um, I know a lot of my videos up through now have been just woodworking, but I also really want to start adding more vlogs, more day-to-day -day life kind of stuff, because the truth is, I can't keep up with doing a project every single week between work and school, other things in my life. I'm currently not able to keep up with a routine of constantly making things because it takes quite a bit of time. So I'm going to kind of supplement in through there with some more of these kind of vlogs, more just everyday kind of videos showing you what I'm up to and other creative things I'm working on. So this lens is actually also going to be really great for photography and that kind of thing. I'll throw up some photos real quick I just took going around the yard. You can get a really unique perspective. Now of course you're not going to shoot wildlife, you're not going to shoot anything macro, but you can get some really nice big landscape photos which I'm really excited to do some of those when I go hiking. For now though I think that's pretty much it. This was not a review of the lens, I just wanted to keep you updated as I got a new piece of gear and show you my thought process as to where I'm headed with the channel. If you liked today's video, well, you know what to do. Till then, stay inspired, stay creative, and hey, I will see you in the next video. See you later.